Hi friends, uh, due to high cold and cough health issues, uh, I am unable to make video from three days. So sorry for that. And uh, uh, I today I am going to share with you in this video about uh, the resume model. Is this able to crack the interview? All these key points are helping to crack the interview in ETL testing. So you can view uh, my resume here. So that's uh, I think it will be uh, helpful for some people so that uh, those people are uh, seeking the perfect resume for their interview purpose. OK, so let us uh, begin the video. So before starting, if you are not subscribed to SQL Master YouTube channel, uh, so kindly subscribe to SQL Master so you will get more informative and valuable videos here. So let us begin the things. So this is what this slide here uh, I want to show you. So first I tell the some key points of about resume building. When preparing a resume for ETL testing, it's essential to showcase your relevant experience, skills and achievements in a clear and concise manner. Here are some tips on how to create an effective ETL testing resume. Start with a strong summary statement that highlights your relevant experience in ETL testing, including number of years of experience, the type of projects you have worked on and any specific skills, tools uh, you are proficient in. List your technical skills including ETL tools like Informatica, Data Stage and Talent as well as databases like Oracle SQL Server, MySQL. Be sure to include any programming language you are familiar with such as SQL, Python and Java and friends it's very necessary to learn any one of the programming purely programming language other than SQL because Python or Java you must have to learn or else you must have to write uh, have basic knowledge to write any uh, one simple program in Python or in Java according to me you must go for Python only it's very easiest other than the programming languages with SQL you must have to learn for ETL testing. Highlight your experience in uh, testing ETL processes including data extraction, data transformation and data loading. Emphasize your ability to create test plans, test cases and test scripts as well as your proficiency in executing and documenting test results. Describe your experience in data analysis and troubleshooting including identifying and resolving the data quality issues, performance bottlenecks and system errors. Mention any relevant certifications you have obtained such as ETL testing certification from the International Software Testing Qualifications Board and also here you can uh, show that if you are cleared the AWS certificate that is Amazon Web Services certificate if you already done the course made the course and if you are trying for the AWS certificate that also you, you are able to mention there that you are pursuing AWS certification or else if you clear the AWS certification you can mention that AWS certificate you have. Provide examples of your achievements such as improving data quality, increasing testing efficiency and reducing the testing cycle time. Include your education including the, your degree and any relevant coursework or certifications. So finally proofread your resume carefully to ensure it is free of errors and formatted in clear and easy to read manner. Remember your ETL testing resume should be tailored uh, to the specific job you are applying for. So be sure that to read the job description carefully and highlight your relevant skills and experience. So this is what one slide I made here and along with that I show you my resume here. So this is what the pattern of resume that's left side is my name and ETL test associate the right side you have to put your mail address phone number and below here you can mention your home address so summary is like this so overall experience 4.2 years of experience in the field of software testing I have experience on my on ETL DWH testing good knowledge on data warehouse concepts like star schema snowflake schema fact table dimension table etc good knowledge in writing sql queries having complete bug life cycle knowledge of data warehousing extensively used workflow manager workflow monitoring informatica in etl tool experience on oracle database 
an exceptional performer with ability to work in teams as well as excellent communication and problem solving skills that is an aws course done that is in some keywords you have to mention here like s3 buckets amazon redshift and route 53 many other things are there and if you are clear the aws certificate you can mention here aws aws certification under certification sections so experience in this manner you have to show that is software test engineer or software test associate company one company two that is uh, uh, from date and to date for this also from date and to date and the skills what you have that is testing dwh and etl testing etl tool that is informatica databases oracle or sql server test management tool zira data access tool toad languages sql plus or sql developer operating system windows and if you know unix you can mention unix also here so higher education qualification that is in my case it is btech enc and your college name that is your state so then comes to very important section that the project so uh, the project you have to mention in from higher uh, higher number to lower number okay so this is what project 5 i mentioned here five projects okay so mention at least five projects because if you trying to mention only two projects only one project so the interviewer may or may say hr so they come to know that uh, this person is not having so much of experience this is general okay so mention at least five projects so they can understand in detail uh, you with your resume so that is this project number five is about a retail analysis system that is client is save mod usa what i mentioned here and role is dwh test engineer environment is oracle and informatica so this is what the description of project okay so that is uh, the save mod company is an american multinational retailing company it is used it is in the united states largest supermarket chain by review revenue uh, it is one of the top 100 retailer company listed in nrf and save mart have branded grocery stores that are located in the midwestern and southwestern southern united states so one thing is very important that whenever you are mentioning your projects okay project details that is for example save mart so you must google it before that so you must google it so what exactly this save mart is selling or what is uh, having uh, that co particular company is doing okay so if it is a uh, cloth cloth sellings or a grocery shop what it is exactly you have to know that before uh, giving interview so you must have to prepare first you have to prepare before attending the interview you must have to prepare your resume then you, ha you have to read the whole the etl system notes and the etl practical sessions and uh, sql practicing query practicing all these things you have to read okay but uh, first start key point is you have to prepare your resume that you have you must have to uh, have knowledge in your mind about your resume what you mentioned all the details here so then coming to uh, responsibilities so these are the responsibilities very important i understanding these transformation rules in mapping documents as per client requirement understanding the informatica mappings and workflow developing test scenarios and test cases for each sprint writing test cases based on functional specifications and business requirement documents uploading test cases into hplm tool and execution of test cases and reporting bugs through defect tracking tool hplm validating the data in target database according to the business rules preparing sql queries to validate the etl processed data in target database verifying the column mapping between source and target database verifying the records count between source and target database and defect logging uh, in hplm but in each point each of these rules and responsible point you must have to go for background logic here okay so for example in the sense i say here uh, uploading the test cases into hplm tool so must you must have to know google it or youtube it and you must know uh, in future i i made make the videos related to these some key points but you must know how to upload the test cases into hplm tool so at least you have to know that basic knowledge because interview may ask you so uh, how you can inter interact with that so with hplm tool how you are going to uh, upload the test cases so if he asked you the question to you you must answer able to answer for that questions okay so this is what the thing here and this is what the fourth project 
that is this is what telecom enhanced systems the same thing client and environment and rule is here and description about the project and the here the rules and responsibilities almost rules and responsibilities for all projects are same but some key points will be going to change here so if you are really interested my in my resume uh, so that you can uh, just mention your uh, one uh, mail id dummy mail id you just create one dummy mail id and uh, comment me in comment box so that uh, i can able to send uh, my resume to that mail id so because uh, don't give your, give your uh, personal mail id in comment box okay so just you create one dummy mail id uh, of a gmail account and just comment me in comment box so that i can able to send you my resume model so you can make prepare on that based on that okay so that's not an issue i am able to help you in all possible ways okay friends so this is what the project number three and the project description and rules and responsibilities and this is project number two and again same the brief description of uh, uh, project and the rules and responsibilities and project number one so these are again the brief description of our client project and uh, the roles and responsibilities and these are uh, example model that is what uh, i had made uh, certifications here that is mcsc red hat linux essentials and achnp from iist hubli so this is what the pattern of resume here so that you can understand this properly and uh, try to build the uh, resume model based on this and it's very effective manner to uh, make the resume here so any other key points or skills uh, you just add uh, based on your own skills okay no issues so that uh, this is what the thing friends what i want to show you here so because of due to a little bit health issue i, I didn't uploaded the videos from two days or three days so uh, just i from tomorrow onwards i am going to upload the videos that will really uh, help you people to make some to crack interviews okay so uh, i will be with you friends uh, with some more videos uh, uh, really technical so today i just i uploaded this one because to give a long back long gap okay so it's not a good thing so for that reason uh, i just i am sharing my resume and uh, how to build the resume data so friends i will be with you with some more important queries or uh, detailed testing concepts or uh, related to informatica videos so till that bye bye friends uh, take care have a nice day so we will see you in the next video thank you bye